This video explains how to create pretty breakpoints using the pretty function in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. As a first demonstration of the pretty function, I want to show you how to apply the pretty function to a vector object. And for this, we first need to create an example vector, as you can see in line two of the code. So after running this line of code, a new vector object called x is appearing at the top right. And as you can see, this vector object contains 100 values ranging from one to 100. Now, if we apply the pretty function to this vector object, the number of output values is reduced, as you can see after running line three of the code. And as you can see, the pretty function has created certain breaks, which have the same intervals and which are much more pretty compared to a vector ranging from one to 100 that contains 100 elements. So in this case, the intervals have a length of 20 values. However, it's also possible to decrease or increase these ranges using the pretty function, as you can see in line five of the code. So in this case, I'm setting the interval length to n equals to 10. So after running line five of the code, you can see that the intervals have a length of 10 values. Now it's also possible to use the pretty function when we draw plots to modify the axis values of our plot. And this is what I want to show you in the next examples. So in lines seven to nine of the code, I'm first creating another vector object that we can use in our plot. And then I'm plotting our X and Y vectors with default axis labels. So after running lines seven to nine of the code, you can see at the bottom right of our studio that a new plot is created. We can also enlarge on this plot window to show the axis values better. And as you can see in this case, the axis values on the X and on the Y axis are ranging from zero to 100. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six axis labels. Now, if we want to change this using the pretty function, we first have to plot our data without any axis labels, as you can see in lines 11 to 13 of the code. So after running these lines of code, the axis tick marks and the axis values are disappearing. And then in the next step in lines 15 and 16 of the code, I'm using the axis function in combination with the pretty function to add modified axis labels. And in line 15 of the code, I'm adding the X axis. And as you can see within the pretty function, I specify our X values. And then I specify the interval that I want to use. So in this case, N equals to 20. So after running this line of code, you can see that another axis is shown. And in line 16 of the code, I'm also adding a Y axis to our plot. So after running this line of code, a Y axis is shown. And if you zoom into this plot, you can see that now the X axis contains 20 axis tick marks as specified within line 15 of the code. And the Y axis contains only three tick marks as specified in line 16 of the code. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.